G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? Back in the Elder Scrolls Online, on the Nightblade. Step out of Daggerfall, let's see what awaits us. Uh, we do have, of course, our zone story. Which wants us to go out here, talk to Weeress Helene. I wish we will do eventually, but I think I'd like to walk around here and see some of these side quests. First off, though, I'm going to go and... Bounty for that. You certainly will. First of all, I'm going to go and get my... My horse. Speed increased. Basil. Fernandre. Fernander. Did you come here for crafting certification? Not really, but I'll have a chat anyway. You here for crafting certification? Don't worry, there's no cost involved. Your reliance covers all my fees. Once you're certified, they'll let you fulfill the crafting writs. Everyone wins! What are crafting writs? They're daily requests for crafted goods, but they're only available to certified crafters. If you can show me you know your craft, I'll get you certified. Alright, tell me how this works. I can train and certify blacksmiths, clothiers, and woodworkers. If that sounds like something you'd want, we can get started. I'm ready for certification. Excellent! We can get started whenever you're ready. Let me know if you have some time. I can train and certify you in something else. Uh, tell me about blacksmith certification. Prove you know your way around a forge and I'll certify you. But you have to commit. I can only train one discipline at a time. I want to be certified as a blacksmith. I want you to craft a simple iron dagger. First you'll mine some iron ore, then refine the ore into iron ingots. You'll use those ingots to make the dagger. You'll certify me if I make an iron dagger? Yes. You have to prove you know your way around a blacksmithing station. Those are the rules. For now, bring me an armload of iron ore. Once you're back, you'll refine them into iron ingots. I already have enough iron ore. Bring the iron ore to a blacksmithing station. If you have enough, you can refine them into iron ingots. Really put your back into it. When you have iron ingots, return to me. Actually, I already have iron ingots as well. What should I do next? Go to the blacksmithing station and craft an iron dagger. Nothing fancy. You shouldn't need more than two iron ingots. Oh, and you'll need a style material. You can purchase them from any blacksmith, or scavenge them yourself if you're thrifty. I'll go make that dagger then. Okay, and so I can only do one at a time, she said. Craft an iron yep. dagger. Okay. I was just checking on that because sometimes they say that and then you go and... You go and uh, you find out you can actually do them all in one go. Sometimes. Not in this case. So we want to go and make a dagger. Now I've got the iron ore uh, and ingots because from previous characters I throw all my gear and items. Things that I break down, all sorts of stuff, into my bank. And so I've got access to that across all characters. And that is why I have that. Ordinarily, I'd be going out there, I suppose. Let's have a little look. Just for the sake of the exercise. Ordinarily, I'd be going out there and looking for nodes. I'd imagine there would be some just like nearby around these areas. I don't know if you'll find them glowing or anything. There should be something around here, I guess, being very close to the city. Would make it very easy to, uh, find, but, for example, you see this right here, you can just collect that. And utilize that for one of the professions. So, similar. You'd go out here and you'd find, like, a node here. But I would like to find one at least. Surely around here there's got to be something. This 
this is now my mission to find that one iron ore note <laughs> just one but yeah I'm quite surprised I haven't run into one yet usually you find these things are fairly plentiful but what do we got here oh here we go iron ore so you press E start mining it and there you go you got your iron ore go do that a couple times and should have more than enough and that's all it takes so in this instance it was kind of like a brownie reddish brown color there you go oh hi iron ore I imagine we'll get a lot more out of this one or maybe not So high iron ore, what's the difference? Ten of these can be refined to seven to ten steel ingots. And this one is iron ingots. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I've never really gone out mining or herbing or any of that sort of stuff with any uh, profession in mind. Just done it because it was there or picked it up, you know, due to a quest or whatever never really done uh professions spent too much time in professions crafting anyway all right so they wanted a iron dagger so if i click quest only that brings that up and then style i've got heaps of these but she did say if i go and talk to a blacksmith steel and stone i can buy that Okay, so here, the Wood Elf style, the Nord style. So let's just do the Wood Elf style. Even though I probably got heaps of those anyway. Do I not have... Oh, maybe I don't have access to it. Ah, I don't. I've only got access to the Breton one. So I guess you got to research that or something. Learn style to unlock. We've got to learn the style first. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go with Breton. No trade, doesn't need one. We just need to make one. Craft one up. And then we're ready for certification. Why isn't the quest showing up? Why isn't the quest showing up? Automatic quest tracking. Track a quest you're in, you accept it. Well, that makes sense. Should have tracked it automatically, right? Strange. Anyway, let's get certified. Hints sell the Breton style material. Something's going on over there. Oh, where is she? <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh, she moved. We'll have no disturbances here. That was quite nice of her. Steel and stone. Sell the Breton style. Sell the Breton Star material. Oh no no. It says blacksmith sell the Breton Star material. Okay, okay. Craft an iron dagger. You'll need some iron ingots and a style material. You can buy those from any blacksmith if you can't find them yourself. I have a right here. The trick is the style material, but I'm sure you know that. I figured it out. What more would you have me do? Next is deconstruction. You learn a lot when you break something into parts, even more so when it's someone else's work. Go deconstruct your dagger, or anything else really, as long as you do it at a blacksmithing station. Gotcha. So we click deconstruct iron dagger, and hit the deconstruct button. Break it down in materials. 
talk to Milineth Melineth. You certainly know your way around a forge. You're a blacksmith, and let none tell you otherwise. I'm ready to be certified as a blacksmith. Of course. I'll get you certified right away so you can fulfill blacksmith crafting writs immediately. Inspiration. You will receive 1k inspiration. Which does... Which does what? Let me know if you have some time. I can train and certify you in something else. Was that experience? Let me know if you're... Yep, I'm interested in woodworking certification. A good woodworker sees the final product before cutting the first block of wood. But I can't teach two crafts at once. If you commit yourself to the training, I'll certify you. I want to be certified as a woodworker. I want to know if you can craft a maple bow. First, go harvest some rough maple. You'll refine it into sanded maple at a woodworking station. Last, you'll take the sanded maple and turn it into a maple bow. Oh, I still gotta talk to her. I want to know if you can- Absolutely! Bows are challenging to craft. Show me you're up to the challenge and I'll happily certify you. But first, go get me a bundle of rough maple. Where can I find rough maple? There's a place nearby which should have what you need. Collect an armload and return here. If there's not enough, you'll need to search for more. I'll return with the maple. Oh, in this instance, I don't have any, so I have to go out there and find it. But it does say that there's a whole bunch out here, so let's go find it. Although I'm sure I could find it in other spots as well. Maybe it's just being made available to me right here for the quest. Cutting. Grab four of them. Because we'll get some more while we're at it. Dagger, dagger for Outlaw's Refuge. Interesting. And a chest, even more interesting. Steel girdle of stamina and 37 gold. Skill line gained a ledger main. Improved hiding, reduced the cost of snake. Ooh. Light fingers, do a bit of pickpocketing. Increase the number of fence interaction. Improves your chance of forcing locks. Kickback, reduce bounties. You willingly pay to guards and fences. Search forested areas for maple if you run out. Well, luckily we got enough. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to her though. Although I wonder if I could just craft the bow and then skip through all that. Maybe there's something else we gotta find. Oh, she's on the move again. Where'd she go? Oh, she went down there, of course, because that's a woodworking area. <laughs> just all over the place, isn't she? rough maple in forested areas. Sometimes you'll see logs washed up on beaches. I have the maple right here. You should avoid cutting a rough maple log with a wasp nest inside. It's rather unpleasant. So are the lotions you'll need for the stings. I have the sanded maple. What do we do next? Craft a maple bow at a woodworking station. You'll need sanded maple, also a style material. Scavenge them yourself or buy a style material from a carpenter. Alright. So I could buy it from him. Even with the alchemist's camp here. Somewhere. Breton, here we go. So I could buy that. I've already got heaps of it anyway, so I won't. I gotta craft that bow. It is quite cool, you got this... Uh, 
where you can just select quest. So it just brings up everything you need. You don't have to mess around. We'll make one of those. Press R to craft. And that is done. Have a chat to Milaneth. Craft a maple bow. Bring some sanded maple to a woodworking station, as well as a style material. Carpenters sell them if you can't find any yourself. I have the bow right here. A good bow will get you far in life. Making good bows will get you farther. I'm ready for the next step. Excellent. Now we can talk about deconstruction. You grow as a woodworker when you disassemble your own creations, even more so with someone else's work. Head to a woodworking station and deconstruct your bow, or any other crafted wood. Here, select deconstruct. Click on that guy and then R to deconstruct. And there were no usable items found in the sky. I've seen everything I need to see. You're a fine woodworker with a steady hand. So there's nothing that I could retrieve from that by Deconstructor. I must have just smashed it in smithereens. Uh, I'm ready to be certified as a woodworker. Certainly. You're more than qualified to fulfill woodworking crafting writs. I'll certify you immediately. There's only one more certification I can provide. If you need training, I have time. I'd like to know more about Clothier certification. If you convince me you know how to use a needle and thread, I'll certify you. I However, you must commit. B. I can't certify two things at once. Certified. Show me you can craft a pair of homespun gloves. First, you'll collect some raw jute, then return here and refine it. Finally, you'll use refined jute to make the gloves. You'll certify, my, certify me if I do that? Of course. It was the first trade I studied. I'm happy to certify anyone familiar with a clothing station. Now run forth and bring me a pile of raw jute. Where can I find raw jute? I spotted some raw jute growing on the outskirts of town. You might as well harvest it yourself. Should that not be enough, you'll have to search elsewhere. I'll return with the jute, Millineth. Yeah, we've got one. So on the outskirts, Art's on the other side now. Right, so there's the last thing that we need to be certified in. Although there are other professions, so I imagine there's probably another person who's gonna what? certify us in that. It's down there somewhere. Four. Another four. And hopefully you'll get us to cross the line. And another four. Search grassy areas for duty if you run out. Oh, the stable over here. If you want to uh, talk to a stable master. Milaneth. Search grassy areas in the wilderness for raw jute. You should find enough if you look around. I have the jute here. Raw jute is plentiful if you know where to look. Just don't chew on it. It can really do a number on your... Well, just don't chew on it. I have refined jute. What do I do with it? Head to the clothing station and craft a pair of homespun gloves. You shouldn't need much refined jute. Don't forget the style material. You can purchase them from any clothier or scavenge them yourself. Right, so then we make it over here. And uh, this is what she's talking about refining. So if I went to go raw jute and 10 of these can be refined into 7 to 10 jutes. So I've got 13. So let's see how many I get when I refine it. 
Oh, it didn't give me a number somewhere. But it looks like I've got plenty. <laughs> I got between 7 and 10. Maybe it shows up here or something. Anyway. Um, so now we go to creation. We've got the gloves. Yes, I've got my Breton style. I'm ready to craft. Chat to her. Craft a pair of homespun gloves. I have the gloves right here. You know, I'm a master clothier, yet I still own a pair of homespun gloves. They keep my hands warm at night. Sometimes simple is better. Right, I'm ready for our next step. Wonderful. Now for deconstruction. There's much to learn from breaking down your own work, even more so with someone else's creation. Head. Break it down. Then let's get certified. You're more than capable with need. Already done. You'll now be able to fulfill clothier crafting writs, and I look forward to seeing more of your work. Hemming? I have nothing left to teach. Have you spoken with Danel Teleno? He can certify you at enchanting, alchemy, and provisioning. Thank you very Last much. I heard he was in the local mages guild. Oh yeah, that's right. We did see him over there. I might give that a rest for a second though. That was good to get an idea of how that works. This one. Need eleven thousand for another upgrade. I want five k here. Okay, let's see what else is available for us. Baker Matthew. Nobody cares about us poor beggars. Could you help me? I'm next. I know I'm going to be next. Next for what? Murder. My friends are already dead, but the watch doesn't care. What's one less beggar? We're nothing to them. But if someone found the killer... Where should I start looking? Start in the trade district alleys. That's where old Gian was murdered just yesterday. Maybe Lieutenant Dubois will give you a reward if you do his job for him. I'll do what I can. Thank you. It's a terrible thing to be poor. You're invisible. No one cares. I got you, buddy. I also had some clothes there you could have worn, like some boots and so on, but... But I'm sure you're not interested in that. So, why is it not tracking? Automatically, I'm a bit confused here. Let me abandon this for a second. And then if I go and accept that quest again. Could you help me? Murder. Start in the trade. Thank you. Oh, now it is. Okay. I don't know why it wasn't working before. Maybe I didn't press the right button. So I'm going to go down the back alley here. Oh, the body's still here. Oh no, it's a Bloodthorn cultist. What? This man's spine was twisted several times before he died. The attacker must have been incredibly strong. Search the West Trade District Alley. Why would I go over there? Is this another alley over there? Please, leave me alone. I'm miserable. Okay. Shiftless Gaven? Get out of here. It'll kill you too. Tell me what's going on. It's a monster, I tell you. A monster! Prowls the alleys, shreds its victims with claws and fangs. It'll kill anyone that crosses its path. There's a dead man in the South Alley, but he's no beggar. He's one of those Bloodthorn cultists. Tell me more about this monster. The beast prowls along the river's edge and hunts in the alleys. It doesn't eat what it kills. It just slaughters and leaves the corpses for the rats. It's the curse of Camlorn. I want no part of this evil. The curse of Camlorn? Haven't you heard? Everyone's talking about it. The town of Camlorn's been taken over by an army of werewolves. Don't look at me like that. I heard Damien and Fabian talking about it. Skeevers. It seems like the poor were made to suffer. I wish I had been born into a family of wealth and means. 
All I saw was fur and fangs. It killed that one in the alley, too. I shall investigate. This is a perfect place to plant flowers. I just watch out for the werewolf. They don't seem to be too concerned, but they got a guard walking around, I suppose. It was a monster. It tore out Guillaume's throat and disappeared into the river. It was hideous. I see it. I see you. Well, all right, it's down. Guilaim, this beggar was savagely mauled. Deep slashes appear to have been made by large, sharp claws. Hopefully, you guys don't have to worry about that anymore. Who was the wolf? I've never seen the citizens so agitated. Even the beggars seem nervous these days. I need to talk to you about the back alley murders. There was a werewolf. A werewolf killed those beggars? You're certain? Damn. I shouldn't have ignored Matthew when he came to me. Take this as a reward, but say nothing. People are nervous enough as it is. I promise not to dismiss the concerns of the poor again. I learned a hard lesson. I won't turn away anyone who's in trouble again. Not on my watch. Not even a beggar. Are you willing to discuss the murders? With you? Yes, of course. But please, keep your voice down. No need to alarm anyone unnecessarily. What do you know about the curse of Camelorn? I'd say it were a lot of superstitious nonsense. Except the rumors keep coming. They say that werewolves have overrun Camlorn, north of here. With the way the Lion Guard has been acting, there's certainly something going on up that way. Have you ever fought a werewolf? Fight a werewolf? Never had the opportunity, and I hope it stays that way. A werewolf's bite carries the creature's curse. It can turn you into one of them. Or so I've heard it said. <laughs> 